Welcome back. The snow has only just begun to melt, but already reports of higher allergy counts are starting to come in. News 9's Austin Schindler breaks down why it's affecting some more than others. Yeah, Melissa, these last few days, the weather has objectively been great. But those exact, exact same conditions we love so much are what health experts say are the perfect recipe for worsening allergies. They say it's partially because of all the moisture in the snow and the air at the time. But it's not uncommon to see symptoms this early with snow still on the ground. Tree pollen starts to come around in late March and early April, followed by grass pollen around May. The trees are going to be heavily pollinating. It will get into the air. The wind is going to take it to your nose and eyes. And the other thing, too, is if is we're working in our yards, we're raking, we're producing dust, there's dirt, and there's particulates. Admondson goes on to say if there's a family history of allergies, you can expect them to hit sooner. If you have mild symptoms, over-the-counter medication could do the trick. And on top of that, if the symptoms are really bad, don't hesitate. Just go ahead and see a doctor if it's really starting to affect your daily life. Melissa? Austin, uh, what's the best advice they say for getting ahead of it to prevent allergies from starting in the first place? Yeah, Melissa, you really hit it on the head. Start preventing it before they even start overall. Health experts recommend closing your windows at night so none of that pollen really starts to get in. Use your AC if it's getting a little hot and musty inside the home. And of course, what you want to do if you're out all day, take a shower before you go to bed so none of that pollen falls with you. Live in Wausau, Austin Schindler, News 9, WAOW.